what we're going to see is um, this well, technique. Funny story that that uh, just came out because we've been cooking up Russian cuisine on the news at noon for a month now to get in the spirits of the Sochi Olympics, and we're doing it once again today. Chef Kevin Quinn is here from Le Cordon Bleu Culinary School, and today we're making something called salmon kulbiak. Kulbiak, correct. And, and the uh, the spelling is. Uh, Dependent upon what region you grew up in, I guess. That's correct. Whoever claims it first gets to put a different spelling on <laughs> That's it. That's right. Sure. So salmon, kulbiak, and, and I was trying to compare this to like a chicken pot pie, but you say more like a beef wellington. More like a wellington, yeah. Other than using salmon, we would use right. tenderloin of beef in there. So Okay, well, get us started. All right, here. well, the first thing we have is some, some really nice uh, salmon. This is king salmon. And what we're going to do, I'll let you do this. You can okay. salt and pepper that. All right. Hi, right? That's right. Hi, oh, yeah. Get that balance, get a good flavor. There we go. Some pepper right, on there. Some pepper. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put this on a sheet of puff pastry that has some already pre-cooked rice. This is a rice pilaf. Okay. And we're simply going to put this on here. Mm-hmm. And then our next step is to put a mushroom duxelle. And a mushroom duxelle is uh, mushrooms that have been chopped really fine, cooked down to remove the moisture with some onions and shallots. Okay. A little bit of garlic and some white wine. Uh-huh. Again, remember we talk about that acid that the Russians love. So there's some white wine and really get a good punch in there. Okay. And then we're going to put this on top of here. And I'm going to let you do that. Okay. And I'm going to start putting it on here. Nice and easy, so okay. pile it on. I'll just, I'll, I'll just keep going. Yeah, can't make a mistake, so okay. just throw it on. <laughs> oh, you'd be surprised. <laughs> All right. There we go. Good. Is that enough? Or yeah, a little more? bit more. A little bit more? Up front, maybe? Yep. All right. All right, so then our next step is going to be is we're going to add some hard-cooked egg to the salmon. So okay. you can so pick just, that up again uh -huh. and just sprinkle it gingerly over the top. Okay, just a finely chopped hard-boiled egg, huh? Actually, that's hand-grated, so hand -grated. it's much easier to use okay. a, a grater. I'm making a mess. So you told you it wouldn't take that, long. That's the beauty of this. It all gets wrapped <laughs> up in the one, and then, that's you, true, yeah. then you're fine. Mm -hmm. So the last step is we're going to put some dill on top of there, so you can put as much as you want on there. All right, and do you... Uh, you just lay it down, or do you? Yeah, okay. you can lay it down. All right. Never put dill on anything before. There All you right. go. So then the last step we're going to do is we're going to fold this puff pastry over. And this is kind of an important step is we're going to kind of stretch the dough mm -hmm. and meet it halfway. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to take this dough, stretch it out a little bit. Okay. And the idea is to meet that halfway. Now we got a seam covered there. Uh -huh. Kind of pinch the ends so that we make a seal. The idea is this puff pastry will encase the fish and all the product in there. Right. Once it hits the oven, it'll start to brown. But more importantly, we'll get a steam effect that goes on inside of the puff pastry. Okay. So then the last step is we're going to turn it over. Mm -hmm. And then what we'll do is this really cool technique that we have at the school is this, this is a little pastry tip. And so uh -huh. what we're going to do is we're going to try to create scales that are on top of the puff pastry oh. to show it as a fish. Right? Okay. So I'm going to let you do that too. So you're gonna come now. And this, just use this. This and looks then, like a pretty big meal. I mean. This, oh yeah, yeah. This will fill you up. So yeah. this is our entree, right? It was right. Really long. And then come in back behind. In between. In between. Uh huh. So we're just. Uh, there we go. Making scales. There we go. So how long does this sit in the oven, and at what temperature? Okay, one last step before we oh, do that. Okay. So we're gonna take some egg wash over there, and we're gonna brush the. Uh, cool the egg down okay. and what that what that does is when it goes into the oven the egg uh, makes a really nice browning effect that goes onto the puff pastry okay beautiful I look know, at that's that pretty good right all you right. can home and make gonna, this tonight there we right? go. halfway done all, all right. right so give this a brush mm -hmm. oh see i was gonna take over for you there, there you go all right and, and this then is this just is just a, a butter? What is this? No, this is just egg wash. It's egg, egg wash. With a little bit of water to thin it out gotcha. so that it brushes on the uh, Kubiak very nicely. Mm -hmm. And then this is going to go in the oven. What we want is a high oven, about a 400 degree oven, and get this, uh, this pop, this color that'll go on the puff pastry. Okay. And the steam that gets created to cook the rest of the, the fish and the uh, other products that are inside of that. And about how long, you said? So. Typically, a piece like this or larger is going to be about 30 minutes, 25 to 30 minutes in there. Okay. And so we teach these techniques at Le Cordon Bleu. We actually have a couple cooking classes coming up. We're looking uh, forward to uh, uh, St. Patrick's Day. So we're, oh, there you we're go. having an open house on March 15th. Uh -huh. uh, and we teach these classes as well. And you can go to blueribbonkitchen.com to, to uh, see the classes that we offer coming up. Wonderful. Salmon Kulbiak, the uh, latest entree that we're cooking up, a Russian cuisine in the celebration of the Sochi Olympics. Chef Kevin Quinn from Le Cordon Bleu, good to see you again. Thanks, Brian. All right, we'll be right back.